Hey guys, it's your girl Risa coming to you today. We are ready to have us some barbecue food, okay? It is Sunday and the weather is so nice outside. G put some meat on the grill and we're getting ready to make some baked beans and some meatballs real quick, okay? And then if we want a little green, we can throw in a salad later on. But I'm gonna just put together these meatballs. Um, I am not a connoisseur on making meatballs. I make them the way I like them and we're just gonna go for that. For all of you that are sugar, um, intolerant this is not the recipe for you okay now there are a lot of different substitutes out there you can use for sugar but i'm not doing that today i'm gonna do a few things but here we go so i have some beans and that is a let's see 55 ounce can of bush baked beans now i know you can make baked beans from scratch I know you can use pork and beans, but I cannot stand pork and beans, okay? <laughs> I cannot, okay? So Thanks. we're not using that. All right, so I'm gonna use th this last little bit of light brown sugar, which you don't need a lot. And I usually use dark brown sugar, but I'm saving that for something else and I got this little bit I need to use. So I'm using that. So that's about maybe a fourth a cup and then we're gonna use about, let's see, one, two, that's about um, two tablespoons of mustard. And I like to use this kind of mustard, okay? That's the kind I like to use because it has the perfect balance of vinegar and everything else. All right, so that's that. We're gonna add some barbecue sauce. And I like to use the Kraft Original. And we're just gonna squeeze about maybe a fourth to a half a cup of barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna add some white sugar. All right. Let me get something to, let's do two tablespoons, let's try. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12 tablespoons okay because I use a two tablespoon measure and now we're gonna add some cinnamon just sprinkle a little bit you don't need a lot there we go now I'm gonna add because I didn't use dark brown sugar I'm gonna use a little bit of this molasses about a good tablespoon and a half okay so we have our molasses or use dark brown sugar we have white sugar we have cinnamon we have ketchup mustard did we add the ketchup no we got to add the ketchup that's barbecue sauce so we're going to add our ketchup we're going to use about a half a cup to a cup of ketchup okay i'll clean that off in a minute and we're gonna go ahead and get this stirred together. I could have done this in my pan, but I'm using a small pan today. And I wanna see how much this is gonna give me. If it's not enough, then I have another small can I can add to it. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour this in our dish. And one can was enough. Cause we're not having any company today. It's just G and I, Jamin and Mia, cause Corey is not gonna eat any of this. Okay. So we have the oven heating up and I'm gonna put that on another pan so that it won't waste in the bottom of my oven. Now for our meatballs, we're gonna use about i'm gonna try let's start with this one see what's left in here we're gonna use a lot more than that probably use half of this bottle mm, that's three-fourths cup 
Wait a minute. I'm lying. Hold on. Where my glasses? Uh, one and three fourths cup of barbecue sauce. Okay. Hold on. I got some. Some grape jam. You use jelly. Whatever suits your fancy. Mm, I don't think that's going to mix in there. Let me get something bigger than this. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to use this bowl. I underestimated it. Okay. And we're going to do about a half a cup of jelly. We're going to add some cayenne pepper. We're going to add a little bit of um, accent. And I'm going to add a little bit of honey. Be right back. Okay. I'm going to put a pinch of cayenne. A little bit of accent. I'm going to sprinkle that on the meat. Not even a full teaspoon. And then we have some honey. So probably a fourth a cup of honey. Can't use up all my honey. I need that. All right, we're gonna mix this together. gonna be maybe be a cup and you know this is all gonna melt once that heat hit it and then you're gonna go in after maybe 10 minutes and stir it up I'm gonna put it in the oven on 425 because I want it to be hot because they are frozen for maybe 30 minutes 30 to 45 minutes Okay, not to burn them up, but I'm gonna be checking them, stirring them up. So we're just gonna add this on top of our meatballs. Okay. You wanna add anything else to them? You can. Now we're gonna go ahead and let these bake and we'll be back. Okay guys, so here are the beans and the meatballs and the chicken. And then we got some greens that we heated up. Mia is fixing her plate. So that's it you guys. I'll add a picture at the end. Thank y'all for watching. Bye Suga. what you say beans? Uh, bye guys. <laughs>